Okay, so today, or in this video, is better. I'm going to show you guys how to make a map in Halo in the Halo Reach SketchUp object map. As you can see here, I have all the objects laid out. That's because you have to have a canvas with all the objects if you want to be able to use those objects. So after you load up the thing, you can just delete it all. For some reason, it didn't grab that, so let me delete that. So now I have this blank canvas. Now I need to get open my windows, my component toolbar. So go to windows at the top and then go to components. It'll take a second to load. Then you click on this little house here. And then it's loading. Should get my objects in a second here. Oh, well, while it's doing that, okay, there we go. So, to place an object, all you gotta do is grab it from there. I prefer to grab objects by the end point, which is on the corners and the edges. Like, if you just wanna move straight, if you wanna, like, if you want to move it along the red axis, click on the red axis and drag it across that way. If you want to move it up, click on the blue axis and drag it up. Green axis, it's the same thing, just do that. Um, so, then to rotate it, you grab it by one of these little red arrows. Like if you want to rotate it into like another side, you would all grab it on the side like by the height I guess it would be see now I have it on its side like this and if you want to copy if you want to like copy something hit control Z and then control V or you can hold down the control button and then click and drag and it'll automatically just make another one for you so there we have that if you want to get objects placed together, let me get a block here, or something like a wall. Okay, here's a wall. If you want to, if you want to get objects to snap to each other, sometimes it can be very annoying. But another, like I try to grab by the end point and just slide over it over to it. Sometimes it'll be a little off like that. So you just have to adjust and look around and find it. Now if you wanted to, if you wanted to like make a ramp off of this little wall, I grab it by the end point after I have turned it. Try to find a good place where I can see both sides. Use the end point to put it down. Then I have that. Well, let's control click that so I can move that over there and snap it to there so now I have this little window looking thing and then what you want to do like this can be really annoying is getting the a flat wall next to a ramp so you, you're gonna want to flip it over to its flat then well I just did it really easily but that's because I've had SketchUp for like a year. But, yeah. Okay, so now I have this big thing. If you would want, if you want to, if you want to, um, use, basically if you want to grab multiple objects at once, you click the arrow button at the top left. Then you control click every single object you want to move. And then to move objects, I forgot to cover this earlier. Just hit the, just hit the red directional pad button, or it looks like that, I guess. And then um, if you want to rotate something, it can be a little annoying because if you're trying to rotate something that has multiple objects. Then you have to click the rotate tool, which is the 
the two arrows forming a circle and it can just be annoying because it's hard to get the exact angles you want so yeah so the basic buttons are you have the pan button which is the white hand button that I have right now I'll see you move around the little Jimmy Neutron looking thingy lets you turn well my computer just froze so it's gonna be a second but yeah it lets you turn around you can click the magnifying button to zoom in but I just prefer to use the mouse roll if you want to delete something just click on it with the black arrow button then hit delete if you want to undo something hit control Z and that'll work um I think that's the basics but now let's do something a little harder getting objects merged together so as you can see I have a really big piece right now and if I wanted to make this go halfway between that I would try to grab okay so it's gonna be along the edge there so I'm gonna try to get it along the blue axis you have to grab by the blue axis or whatever axis you're rotating it on and then just drag towards that side along the axis and then you have it merged through there um let's see what else we can do um let me see what if I wanted to do this and then wait one second stupid wall okay but I could grab that by that thing let's put this up here then I use the green axis to push it through there um, there's a whole lot of objects that you can use I like to use the for my floors I usually use this object the wall double because it looks cool and it's like the most accurate in size out of like everything because like people don't realize how big this actually is like because I've seen many designs with the these huge walls in it but they don't realize how big that is so, yeah, just make sure you know about the size change and stuff because a lot of the sizes are going to be off. And then, um, let's see. You know what? I'm going to be a hypocrite and just use this wall right here real fast because I don't, because it's big and it can cover that. But, cause it's like about four and a half wall singles wide and and about like six wall singles length but that's just in this I'm not sure about in the real game since I don't have it I think that is the end of this tutorial if you want some more ideas or tips or anything just tell me and I will upload it I think I will be releasing how to design with SketchUp soon, so look out for that.